Throughout the year, with the generous support of the community, Pelham Cares helps local families in need. We started uh, 30 years ago. We're in our 32nd year actually operating as a food bank. And um, so we serve a multitude of clients, single families, families, uh, individuals, teenagers. Um, there's really no uh, age difference or family size. Um, you have to live in Fawn Hill in order to, or the surrounding areas of Pelham, in order to qualify for assistance through Pelham Cares. Over the years, Pelham Cares has seen a growing increase in the number of families in need of their services. We serve over 54 families. We provide food once a month. Um, so the need is extremely high right now throughout Pelham. It's growing every year. We get more clients that come through the door. So the clients make an order and then they come in on Fridays and pick up the orders. It's uh, very confidential. They come in every 10 minutes, they're scheduled. So they come in, they are able to pick up their food and then they leave. So no one knows who the clients are except for the volunteers that pack the food. We provide youth services. So we provide funding for our clients for youth activities, soccer, hockey, uh, educational tutoring. We provide uh, cheerleading. So we provide a yearly fee per um, child that's a client. We provide transportation services to seniors to medical appointments. So if they need to go to the doctors, in between here, London, and Toronto, and Hamilton, we drive. Like most nonprofit organizations, Pelham Cares relies heavily on volunteers. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the volunteers. There's only two paid staff for Pelham Cares, which is our service coordinator and our transportation coordinator. The rest are all volunteers. Our board of directors is completely volunteer based. There's uh, approximately 11 to 12 of us, depending on what's happening and who's left the board. Um, all of the board of directors members um, work. We all have specific jobs within the organization that we do. Some do food, some do transportation, some do youth services. Um, but the only people paid through Pelham Cares are our two part-time staff. Everything else is volunteer. Like all food banks, the call for donations is needed throughout the year. The need doesn't change throughout the year. I mean, our the food drive we have in December provides an enormous amount of food. But by July, August, the shelves get pretty bare. So we're always looking for personal care items, you know, um, baby items, and any sort of food that we can take in. It's, uh, the need doesn't stop. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. Um, Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter, we provide baskets and hampers so they can have special dinners in their homes. Um, and we have generous supporters in the area that provide, you know, turkeys and hams and fresh vegetables. And, you know, we're just lucky that we live in an area that has so much vegetables and apples and potatoes and the farmers are amazing by delivering that stuff to us. But the need doesn't change. For more information or to donate, log on to pelhamcares.org. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.